Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today is more of like a personal topic. So let's just sit down and be open about this and just kind of go with it, okay? So today's girl talk, we're going to be talking about shaving down there, down south. So even though it's winter and I'm making this video now, it might seem a little bit off track with like the spring and summer season when it's like bikini season. But then again, you can always like practice now until you get it right. So I'm sure you guys have probably been like shaving your legs and like under your arms for a couple years now. And the thing is, is with the hair on your legs and under your arms, it's not as coarse. So it's not so dense and it's not going to get irritated as easily unless you're really aggressive with, with the razor that you're using. Um, so basically, I just want to go over like a few tips on what has helped me through um, taking care of down there. Um, so especially with gymnastics meets, there's lots of like straddle jumps, stretching, and you're wearing leotards that can expose a lot and lots of people do not wear their underwear with their leotards, which is completely normal. So I'm just going to jump right in. So if this is your first time ever doing this, I would definitely recommend getting a brand new razor. And the reason why I want a brand new razor is if you're using a dull bladed razor and you're trying to shave down there, not only is it going to make the shave not smooth, it's also going to just be uncomfortable and some razors, especially if it's just been sitting in there for like a month or two months, five months, over a year, and it's developing rust on it, you're definitely risking like getting an infection if you're going to like accidentally cut yourself and then if you cut yourself with a rusty razor, you are in trouble. Next thing I would definitely recommend is do not dry shave, okay? I cannot stress that enough. Do not just put water there and shave. Heck no. Unless you want to be in pain for a week or so, go ahead. Be, be my guest. But I will definitely recommend using a shaving cream. Now you don't want it like super thick or super thin. I actually use men's shaving cream, which is weird. You know how like guys shave their face and facial hair is like coarse. That stuff is thick. And it kind of reminds me of like, you know, like down there. <laughs> so I'm like, well, if they're using that on their face, why not use it down there? Would take my brother's shaving cream and then I take it in the shower and then I use it because like I figured why if you're using that on your face I should be able to use that down there and I can tell you guys right now using shaving cream down there has made it so much easier so next thing I would recommend doing is finding like a handheld mirror um, so even let's say I the blush in my palette like fell out or it's all gone so, like a little handheld mirror, like this, and you want to like kind of figure yourself out down there. Okay, so I know this video may be coming off a little bit weird. You're probably like, why am I taking a hand mirror in the shower? It's actually a good idea because it's very complicated down there. So you want to take a hand mirror. If you guys can see like the front part and up, you can definitely get that, like no problem. But the thing is, is when you're shaving, I would not recommend pointing the razor up. I would recommend pulling it down. So pulling it down towards your feet instead of up towards your belly button, I found has caused a lot less irritation. Or if you really, really want a close, close shave, you can go down, all the way down, all around the sides, like everywhere that you can see without going like super down, like in the complicated area. And then you can add like a thin layer of shaving cream again and make sure your shower is nice and hot so like the pores are open, the razor is like nice and warm and everything. And then you can go up towards your belly button but I would only recommend this if your skin is not sensitive and this is only if you want like a super close shave. So with navigating down there when you're shaving, I would recommend propping one leg up on the side of your shower. So you'll... You'll probably have a shower, you just prop your leg up, and then this will give you like more 
base to work with instead of your legs just being down. So if you're propping your leg up, you definitely get more room to work with. You can also use the other hand and like kind of um, guide. I would like to like put my hand where I'm going to put my razor and then I put my razor there. Like you kind of want to feel where you need to groom, I guess. So kind of like if you're blind and you're going to like, I don't know, shave your underarm. I like feel and when I find where I want to go, I shave. I feel like this method works really well because if you're gonna like just go freehand it, that's you might cut yourself by accident. And don't get me wrong, it takes practice to get this down. Um, but if you guys are having irritation, um, you're most likely shaving the wrong way. You want to shave like where the hair naturally grows. You don't want to go against that. If you start shaving and you feel resistance, don't go that way. You should feel slight resistance but not where it's like painful and you're like oh dragging that razor across that's just really bad last thing I recommend after you've shaved down there um, and if you guys want to like go even further like like I said like navigating down there definitely prop one leg up that will help you so much like I said feel before you shave so like feel before you commit to it um, I recommend using a lotion that's not like fragrance like you know rainbows and cupcakes lotion now I recommend like a set of feel lotion something that's dermatologist um, like approved or recommended so something like that because the skin down there will get dried out definitely moisturize after you have shaved and then if you guys are having irritation I would recommend using bikini zone no I'm not getting sponsored at all but bikini zone that will like help you so much it kind of burns when you put it on but after you shave you might start to see little red bumps put that bikini zone on it will burn a little but it will go away and like the bumps will be gone literally the next day um, bikini zone has helped me so much so moisturize bikini zone and don't rub dry pat dry um, just causes less irritation so if you guys are night showerers I would recommend going to bed with like cotton underwear. Um, I just think it's like easier for the skin than like a super nice lace silky like thong or something like that. No, just wear like cotton underwear. Um, you, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna do anything if you're like going to bed right after. So that was my tips and advice on shaving down there. If you guys have any like personal personal questions, go ahead and message me. I know it is kind of like a personal topic, but I hope this helped you guys somehow. I will recommend a few products down below. Um, I use the Venus 5 blade razor and that helps me a lot. And I also like using men's razors. Like I said, I feel like they give you a nice close shave. Coarse hair up here for guys, coarse hair down there for the ladies. You know what I'm talking about. So I hope you guys have a great day and this helped you. Bye everyone.